It would be pretty amazing in itself that four sisters are playing high school basketball at the same time on the same court. But as Boyd Hooper shows us tonight in the land of 10,000 stories, it gets even better. The varsity girls basketball team at New London Spicer High School has an abundance of riches. I'm Mackenzie Rich and I'm a senior. Mackenzie was the first to make the team. Courtney Rich and I'm in 11th grade. Then the Riches. Avery Rich, sophomore. Kept coming. My name is Dakota Rich and I'm in 8th grade. Four Rich sisters on an undefeated Class 2A varsity team ranked number one in the state. Let's go! Which made for a proud dad moment <laughs> earlier this season. Yes. Yes. When Earl Rich was in the stands the first time all four of his daughters were on the floor in a game, the same time. It was a special moment, that's for sure. Special for more than one reason. Move it! Move it! Mike Dreyer there you go. is the girls' coach. In his 43rd season with New London Spicer, the winningest girls' basketball coach in Minnesota high school history. Good shot, Emma. Still coaching, he says, largely Good job. because of Earl. Good job, Ken. I suppose it was like six or eight years ago. You gotta keep coaching, you gotta coach my kids. I just said, I can't, I don't think I'll be hanging on that long, Earl. <laughs> Earl persists for his girls. I told him if there's any coach I ever want you to play for, it'd be him. A position rooted in 45 years of Earl Rich's personal history. Well, I would say second grade would be when I remember being in the homes foster homes, to be more precise, after Earl's mom became too ill to care for him. What about your dad? My dad, he, he uh, moved away and was in Spokane, Washington. Totally out of the picture. I never had a dad. My, the foster parents were my, my family. You were in six different homes? Six different foster homes through high school. When the fifth foster family decided to give Earl up, word spread to his seventh grade football coach, who might look familiar. I was in the lunchroom one day and the music teacher was saying, oh, Earl's gonna have to move to Wilmer. I listened to him and, and I said, well, he can come with me. <laughs> I'm like, Mike Dreyer? Earl moved into the home of then unmarried Mike Dreyer, who legally became his foster parent. Yep, I was that. Earl and Mike together through sophomore, junior, and senior years. I never spent three years at one place. He just gave me every aspect of a dad that I never had. A dad to come to his games, ready with advice and love. Oh man, it's hard to talk about sometimes. I'd say he definitely turned out all right for having such a tough life when he was younger. And I think Dreyer definitely played a big part in that. Earl went on to quarterback and pitch for Southwest State University, became part owner of New London Real Estate, and a campground where his daughters spend their summers practicing basketball. There's some pride. Yeah, it is. Get open. And now Coach Dreyer sits on one side of the court with Earl on the other. They're all four out there right now. And his four daughters on the floor <laughs> between them. I was lucky. I was fortunate, and I'm glad he stuck it out for the girls. Good job, Coach. Good job. Courtney, Mackenzie, Avery, and Dakota. <laughs> Riches beyond anyone's imagination. Good job, honey. Boyd Hooper, Carol Levin News. Good job. <laughs> New London. Good job, Kins. What a great story. Tonight, with a victory over Rockford, the girls from New London Spicer raised their record to 18 and zero. Special season matched only by the story behind it. Now let's head outside, chat with Bill. Yeah, what a fabulous story, my goodness. I love that. I love how humble the coach is too. He's just, <laughs> yep, I just said you can live with me. Like, no big deal. Right, that's it's a fabulous. big deal. And, you know, the fact is that they're not just playing basketball. I mean, they're good enough to be on that undefeated team playing at the same time, which, you know, if you understand, that's a very difficult task in itself, too. So congratulations to all of them, including the eighth grader. Way to go. That's fantastic. <laughs>